So now we can go ahead and investigate our final mystery. Why do the GCC and Clang Hello Worlds have balanced push pop instructions, but Visual Studio doesn't? So we saw this assembly before, and I've now moved it to my new and more beautiful color coding convention of blue for balanced and lavender for linkage. So these are the assembly we saw before, but now that we've seen the 32-bit calling conventions, we might have a sense of why they might be doing this. It's a push pop thing with a move RBP, sorry, move RSP to RBP. See, it gets you the Intel syntax versus AT&T syntax. It's backwards. Move RSP to RBP. Well, that kind of sounds like it's the same thing that 32-bit calling conventions were doing. So let's look into it. So this is what we said about the Microsoft X64 ABI. And what we now also say is that generally speaking, it does not make use of frame pointers for most code. So let's see what a 64-bit stack diagram would look like for Visual Studio. Return addresses as per usual, RSP, calling into a function, return address gets onto the stack, RSP points at local variables, if any, callee save registers, caller save registers, and then the Microsoft specific shadow space and any extra function arguments above and beyond the four parameters, if any and then return addresses. So this is kind of what we expect to see on stack frames for Visual Studio derived code. And of course, as before at a leaf node function, we might have local variables, we might have callee save registers, but we're not going to see any caller save registers or function parameters and so forth. But now let's go look at the Microsoft documentation and see what they say about the stack frame layout and how it makes things a little bit more complicated. So from this link, here's a picture of the stack according to Microsoft. They also draw high addresses high and low addresses low, so that's great for us. Here's the uh, shadow store area of RCX, RDX, R8, R9, and then it says, you know, stack parameter area, return addresses. So this all maps up to what we expect, local variables, the non-volatile registers, AKA the callee save registers. But then there's this interesting bit right here. It says, if used, frame pointer will generally point here. So it's saying they can have a frame pointer, but instead of pointing at the base of the frame, it's actually going to be sort of in the middle here after the local variables, after the callee save registers, and before any allocation, before any parameters and so forth. So it's kind of a, a weird location. So let's see what the actual filled in thing looks like. So if they have a stack frame, it said it will generally point here. The saved RBP will be between the local variables, the callee save registers, any alloc A space and caller save registers. So they can have this linkage, but it'll be kind of into the middle. So from the documentation, it's clear that if you use alloc A, then it's definitely going to be using a frame pointer because it says alloc A is required to be 16 byte aligned and additionally required to use a frame pointer. Alloc A is specifically a thing that allocates space on the stack instead of the heap. And so if space is dynamically allocated, for instance, with alloc A in a function, then non-volatile registers must be used as a frame pointer. That says a non-volatile register must be used as a frame pointer. It doesn't actually say it must be RBP. It could actually be anyone. And there's some other examples elsewhere in their documentation where they use R13 instead, where they're kind of hand coding up, you know, here's an example of what you might make a function prolog look like. So anyways, it's not currently clear to me from the documentation if Microsoft will naturally use the frame pointer in any other locations other than where some code happens to be using alloc A. But if you know about such a situation, then let me know. Now here was what we said about the System 5 x86-64 ABI. And let's add to that that it still uses frame pointers basically in the 32-bit style unless directed not to via compiler options. So therefore, here's what the 64-bit stack would look like on system five. Call a function, return address as per usual, and then saved RBP right at the base of the stack frame, linking back up to wherever RBP used to point to, and then the move RSP to RBP, moving it down just like we saw in 32-bit. So basically from there, it looks the same as 32-bit. All the same sort of things, saved RBP, local variables, callee save, caller save, function arguments, and return address. And just keeps going. 
as we saw before, if you call another function, you're gonna have call error save registers, potentially function arguments and return address. And then for a leaf node, saved RBP linking back as before, moving RSP into RBP, saving local variables, call these save registers if appropriate, but none of the rest of it if you're not actually calling any other functions. So who was this presence of push pop in system five code absence in Microsoft code that's been terrorizing us so far? Well, it was none other than the difference between the Microsoft and System 5 ABIs. And with that, our intrepid crew of the Mystery Machine has solved the last mystery on our mystery listery, and it's time for all the cool cats and swingers to party out. <laughs>